Isn't life such a beautiful thing? Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. Dang. Sumo wrestler's favorite meal, guys. Chanko nabe. Ever heard of it? Let me show you how easy it is to make the best chanko nabe ever. Don't blink. I just my take on it. First things first, I'm gonna do a light, spicy mushroom broth. One tablespoon of oil. Teaspoon hot chili flakes. Let's salt this up. You don't need too much chili flakes, guys. Just a bit, okay? This, I'll say, it's a little too much. It's gonna burn your throat. <laughs> but I got some mushroom stock here. Okay, that's a lot of chilies, guys. You know what? I don't care. We're gonna eat it anyways. And it's gonna be spicy. Okay, two liters of this going in. Broth, nice and Steamy, gotcha. Throw in five pieces of chicken breast. And nothing to it. Let this boil up for about 40 minutes, all right? 40 minutes in, chicken coming out. Now let this chicken rest before we cut into it, all right? For this broth, one tablespoon of soy sauce in the beginning. I got one chopped onions here. And I got four or five pieces of garlic. Got estrogen going in. <laughs> we got Napa cabbage going in. We got a bunch of watercress. Slice our chicken. See that? Perfectly boiled chicken. Work apart, my friends. Chicken on top. I'm gonna do some chilies on top as well, too. This is my twist and take on. Tranko. Sumo wrestlers. Favorite soup right here. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time, guys. All right, let's do this. This is Sumo wrestlers. Favorite dish. With my twist, my take on it, all right? Tranko. First things first, a little broth. Quick time, guys. You guys got it? Nice. Soup pump for this. Oh, man. These are the things that make the broth right here, guys. If you guys know what these peppers are, I think they're fingerlin potatoes. Not fingerlin, but <laughs> fingerlin peppers or fingertip peppers. They're the most amazing thing ever. When you put it into broth, guys, legit. It enhances it. Oh. Oh. That's good. That's real good. I don't usually eat them. Like when you put it in the peppers already, they're very spicy. Oh, they enhance. <laughs> they enhance the broth already, but either way, you can eat them if you want, okay? Piece of watercress, guys. Sumo's wrestlers. Are sumo's wrestlers? Sumo wrestlers are probably drooling right now. Quick tack! Let's get it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Watercress. One of my favorite vegetables. Mm hmm. You can say this is like hot pot. <laughs> sumo wrestler style. Mm hmm. Feed those muscles. Protein. Quick tack. Let's get it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm hmm Also got some Japanese rice here too. Mm hmm Look at that. Nice. Soup pump for this. Mm 
Oh. That broth is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Estrogen? <laughs> Got it. Nice. Super powerful. Mm hmm. Mm. Napa cabbage. Mm hmm. I'm saying this is hearty, healthy, nutritious, and delicious. Wonder why these sumo wrestlers are pretty strong or are very strong. These legit are the best thing to eat, but the worst thing to eat as well. These tofu pieces act like sponges. What these do is soak up all that good broth. But the worst thing is it's so hot. <laughs> Every bite you take is pretty much a spoonful of hot broth in your mouth. Oh, oh. Oh, and it's so good. How sweet would it be to sit down with a sumo wrestler and eating this with them? That'd be pretty sweet. Oh man. If you make good broth, try adding these finger potatoes. Oh, I keep saying it. Finger tip peppers, maybe? It enhances it very well. Oh, that is so hearty and good. Oh, forgot to pick up some mushroom. Mushrooms in this would have been really good, but. The mushroom broth in this is very delicious already. Oh yeah. Oh. Sometimes you don't need all that sauces, you know? Every time I do eat hot pot, I just drench in sauce and hot sauce, you know? I take some of this, I drench in the hot sauce, a hoisin sauce. I just go in on it. But most of the time when I do dip, all it tastes is hoisin sauce and sriracha sauce. <laughs> this way of eating, legit, probably is something, I, I can't say new. Eye opening. Cause just eating like this without sauce is spectacular.
even though this is not authentic chanko. But what does make chanko authentic, right? There's usually lots of vegetables. Like this. Meat tofu. Good broth. And sumo wrestlers to eat it, right? Um, that's why it's not authentic. Because we don't have sumo wrestlers here. I myself am a sumo wrestler. <laughs> Low key. That's not spinach here. <laughs> why didn't you guys tell me? I was smiling and laughing like that all the time. And you guys didn't even tell me. I thought we homies. <laughs> oh man. You see that sweat on my forehead? It's legit. Oh man. That broth is amazing. Watching um, Sumer's wrestler eat this last night. And one thing that Sumer wrestler said was after he eats Chanko, he just takes a nap. <laughs> I gotta live that dream. I feel like taking a nap right now. Feel alive. Yeah, that's it, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Peace out.